All right. We are back. Kinseed. Here we are. So, the last episode. Very explanatory. Okay. And walk you through many concepts of this game. I will do that probably often, but not every day. I won't do it all the time. Because, you know, you, you don't want to hear me going on and on and on. Oh my gosh, guys, shut up. So, oh, interesting. Okay, I did have enough. Oh, okay, cool. So they were good enough. I uh, shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. I thought I had more of those planted, so I reset my day because I didn't get enough of porks at the right value. But it turns out I only had three planted to begin with. So that's pretty embarrassing. But it's fine. I didn't do much actually last day. I just opened the store up and explained all the blacksmithing stuff. It wasn't a, you know, it wasn't a high yield day. So the annoying thing about pork chops is you can sometimes randomly find the crops on the ground, but it's pretty rare. You have to dig them up which is annoying. So like there's actually usually a dig spot right here. Oh. The dig spots, I think they're week by week. They stay the same, but they do change. And I think the, the week difference is what changes it. But you can always go into the Fey realm. And uh, there's a shop here that sells for like bags of pork seed at a time and I have the skill that lets me plant in any season so I can plant these in any season and I don't think yeah no because I'm getting two for the blessing yes yeah, you four for two not too bad oh maybe I'll talk about blessings today because I have a blessing on my farm that increases my star value which is big for what I'm currently working on and I think today's the 11th right yes yeah. so tomorrow is when I have to do the pink roses it's another thing I'm trying to collect so like I was saying for skills right in the last episode let's talk about what you have to collect I have enough radishes now what I'm working on is pork chops pink roses this is going to be a different week because they're berries and it's a whole a whole different thing but we'll talk about that when we go to the blessings I may have to wait until Druid Day to go over blessings because then I can actually show you what the blessings are. So we'll have to wait till the 14th to go over those. It won't make sense to show you them without, or I can't actually show you them. I would just be talking, <laughs> which I already do so much of. All right, so got a couple of these planted and then what? I don't think we need any other, oops. I've got plenty of those. I might plant some more heart roots just in case. Yeah, I'm gonna plant some more heart roots. Can't grow those. Can't grow those. Okay. And the rest of these are different. Fish, yeah, okay. I've not done a lot of fishing. It's fun, but I I don't tend to do any fishing in games like this. I don't know why. So let's get some flowers planted. Those are good for offerings. And then let's do art. Art roots. The root of the art. Just... We have some leaks, Captain. All right, yeah, that was a pretty dad, pretty dad bad joke, huh? Pretty bad dad joke. Ooh. Got some shrimp again. And then, because of my skill, I only have to water these once. Which I think is super cool. It's a very cool mechanic to have in the game. Why add sprinklers when you can just have the first skill you get be you water plants once? Man, the, like the monotony of watering plants. Some games it takes like all freaking day to get all your plants watered. 
it was an interesting decision to make like only a certain amount of plots of plants but most plants grow in two days so like it doesn't really matter the week is only seven days there's only two weeks in a season so you know it's kind of a little bit of both i get two herbs per pick another blessing that i have all right what do we want our objective for today should we try and find we're not gonna find pig seeds it doesn't make sense to track those we're playing fast pace right now because we're looking for specific months to get specific items i got stuck in the a combat section of this game because you can't increase your player stats your player stats are set but spoiler so skip ahead if you don't want to hear this part a big part of this game is that you get to age 60 you die but you take over one of your children <laughs> a little strange a little bizarre but kin seed right that's kind of like the mechanic of this game that, that i think actually makes like long-term playing more enjoyable because it gives incentives to having kids in the game so many games like this that have like a kid mechanic it's just like you have the kid and then they don't do anything like they either they're for cutscenes or like they never grow up it, i don't know they just like it seems like kids is the end of the game as opposed to like potentially a part of the game so your children can gain stat boosts so they do it through activities, right? So this one, I have him doing nothing. I have her working on the farm a little bit. I think if they work jobs when they're older, they can also get stat boosts. Right now, they could only grow a certain number of stats. Dan Prime Prime is crunching his intelligence stat because this determines your XP gain for other activities. So I'm hoping for like the next three or four years to just crunch this stat and then you know he'll be like 20 intelligence and we'll stats much quicker so then once i have a character right that is ready to go combat i'll be able to have a higher strength stat which will make combat easier because like you can kind of do combat with your main character and if you're super good at timing and stuff you can definitely do combat but I am not. I get destroyed. Maybe I'll show you at one of these days. I'll show you how I get wrecked. Gotta love the porta potty fast travel. Okay, I think. Oh, I need to get a sheep. That's what I need. What time is it? 12. Oh, wreck. I think. I think it's the 10th. Is that sheep? Wait, what? Chicken racing, chicken auction, sheep racing. Oh, sheep auctions tomorrow. Yes. Okay. So we're going to go get some sheep tomorrow because we need some sheep. So, okay. I'm talking a lot. I hope you don't mind. When you are talking to NPCs, standard right you can give gifts talk to them you can find out what they like huge mechanic here okay one of the best quality of life things about this game talking to someone say i want to give you a gift okay here's all my items right so eggs highlighted in red they hate eggs things they do like are highlighted in green so you never have to like actually remember because the game tells you so once you find it out, either by giving it to them and they either say, I hate you for giving me that or thank you so much, it'll stay highlighted in green in the future. Or like if you are talking to an NPC every once in a while, they'll be like, I heard this rumor that Carolina Pepper likes mushrooms. And then that'll now be saved in your inventory as an item they like, which I think is huge. I think it's such a cool mechanic. Huge game changer. So once you've reached three star or three hearts with any NPC, so right here you go. Secret for you. I heard Bell Pepper really likes gooseberry pie. 
I think it's her daughter. Yeah. So that's saved now. Once you get to three arts, they give you a quest. And that quest, like, you know, solidifies your friendship or whatever. This whole family has weird quests. This guy had me dump honey in everybody's home in their, like, section of the world. Very strange. His wife's task, even weirder, wants me to feed a sheep laxatives and then ride it into town. Mm -hmm. That Yeah, that's this game. That's what we're playing right now. <laughs> so, very strange. But there's huge benefits to becoming friends with people, lets you um, harvest things around their house. Like, once again, if you're going for those skills, you need to get certain items. And this is a good town to show you. This town is the only... See right here, this is where I need to ride the sheep to. <laughs> So this is the only town that has aloe vera. And if I harvest this right now, it's going to be like maybe one or two stars. Yeah, one star, right? You do this at dusk on a windy day with, I think, a pig following you. And I think the f first week of spring, it's five stars. So... I had all that figured out and I came over here and I was like, oh, sweet, boink. And it said, you don't have permission to harvest this. And I was like, what? Because that house is owned by this couple down here. This couple didn't know me. So they said, hey, don't take our stuff, you thief. So you have to befriend the villagers so that you can uh, harvest the items because it's the only place aloe vera can be got in the game. You can buy it, but it's always one star if you buy it. So cool mechanic. Right? Gives incentive to befriending the villagers beyond just the benefits of befriending them. Okay, this is good. I think we're still only the 11th, so yeah. We have to wait until even days for the rose. Sorry if I'm like. Got thoughts about everything. Hope you don't mind. We'll turn in these bad boys. And then garlic, I think it's a summer thing. I've got tabs open over here. Because I'm always getting confused. Yeah, summer week one. That one should be pretty easy to do once we're in summer. And you can find out these tips. Like throughout the world, there's like proverbs. And they give you tips on the star quality, right? Here we go. Dust cherries. So... Two of them. One is having a legendary level tool. Having a bumble up flopping following you. And then the other two are like moonlight and something else. So you can find these like pages all over the place and picking them up will like unlock those things. So you can find all this information out standard in the game. But and actually by talking to people too, people tell you tips. They'll be like, my mama always said do this. And you're like, oh, cool. So that adds even more credence to enjoyable aspects of the game. Why don't I just end this day? Sleep through the day. You know, that's what farmers do, right? Sleep all day. We want the 12th is when we've got things popping. I think we have to do Rose evening. And we'll go over blessings too while we're at it. I don't think I need to do anything in the morning. So we'll just skip right to seven. Sometimes you have to do things at dawn, right? But I think I've done all the spring stuff at dawn already. All right. So. Those bad boys are growing, which is good. Let them do their thing. You guys are done. Yes, those flowers do scream when you reap them. Take that, vegetarians. Let's see. I'm just planting anything right now. I don't really have an objective. I guess if I was smart, I would have went to the Fey world and bought pig. 
crops and planted those there, but clearly you're watching an intelligent person play. You can move faster if you ride pigs. My current pig is not friendly, so he throws me off every like two minutes. That's what you get when you pay one gold at an auction. Oh, auction, sheep auction. Is that today or is it the 13th? Today, okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> it's at 10 a.m. We'll be fine. So let's bash travel. Your animals can die. They usually die of old age, though. Because I think... I don't know. Yeah, okay. So I've been taxed 17 years. I have six more that I have to pay at the end of this year. And so you can actually pay in years for a number of different things for benefit items. There's a, a whole slew of ways you can lose extra years. But I actually think that's kind of cool because some of the games, like the monotony of the game is like, gosh, like 60 in-game years is insane. It's so long. But I think I'm like already at 35 or 36 and I've only actually played two in-game years. So you can avoid all that if you want. But I needed the the goods I think sheep are there the mellow fields yeah I think I was wrong nope I was wrong wait oh the horses yeah see mellow brook I think it's mellow brook I think it is let's go check it out I'm not sure though. There'll, there'll be an auctioneer there if it is. So we'll see for sure if that is the case or not. The other portaling mechanic may have took us where we needed to go all the way down there, but there's actually more outhouses than there are of the other portal arches. So it's kind of cool to have both teleporting mechanics because you can do more that way. Oh, no, I needed to go to the left. Oh, gosh, we're going to be late. It's getting distracted. I wasn't thinking. Foolish. These are the papers I was talking about. Run. Run. Oh, God. So dumb, dude. I don't even know where. This is so embarrassing. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to restart this flippin' day, aren't I? I'm not gonna get to the stupid king. Auction in time! Go! Run faster! I only need one sheep that's not angry! Don't sell them all without me! Quickly. Nice. Made it just in time. Mood is friendly. Bid four. Nope. Nice try. I'm not even freaking waiting to watch this. Boo, boo, boo. Up to ten. Come on. Someone outbid me. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. I'm not messing around. Okay? All these sheep are mine. The rich get richer. The sheep get godder. I don't know. Lou's angry. I don't really want an angry sheep, but I know I don't want anyone else to have them. <laughs> this was another weird part of the game. The animals are not that expensive. So in the prologue, your uncle gives you like a couple coppers each day and I don't need two angry sheep so one angry is fine so they give you he gives you a couple coppers each day for like fulfilling tasks and the task or I did enough tasks that I had like I don't know maybe 10 15 copper and he's like hey go to the pig auction today we don't have enough copper to get another pig but you know you can go if you want to 
And I was like, all right. So I went to the pig auction and I just, I was like, I might as well bid. I've got 15 coppers. So I bid, bid four copper and he goes, going once, going twice, sold. And I was like, Rick, <laughs> you were wrong, uncle. We bought another pig. And I got home and it was cool. He was like, oh, wow, you got one. That's amazing. So I don't know if that's actually like meant to be a part of the game or I was able to like swindle my way to another pig. But I thought that was cool. So yeah, but it was weird how, how cheap animals were in this one. So this is the other teleporting mechanic I was telling you about, these little archways. I had the archways first, and then I got the outhouses second. You probably don't need both, but it makes traveling super easy if you have both. All right, so let's check out... The one's fully grown, so we should be able to ride it. I also realize now I could have summoned it to me because you can do that from anywhere you go. Nope, I wanted to. Nope. Yep, yep, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right, so I need to feed this sheep some laxatives and then ride it into town like a warrior. Let's... Do it. Excuse me, wife. Need to need to use the porta potty with my sheep, please. Nothing untoward's gonna happen, I promise. They didn't even come into the porta potty with me. Alright, so we're in town, which is fine, but we're gonna run past that. I probably don't need to actually come through the whole town. I probably just need to go right there. So let's just hop off. And I gotta feed you something that gives you. That was flatulent. Like, that's not right. Could be, though. I thought there was one that was, like, just straight up. Poop your pants. Cursed, stamina, flatulent, scent. Digestive? Maybe? Let's try digestive first. And then we could do flatulence after that. Let's see. Try a mint. And then if we ride you, does this count? Nope. Okay. So I think maybe it was flatulence. I feel like it feels weird, but you know, whatever. Let's see. Oop. Now, here we go. Yeah, that did it. The big... The big... Of 1995. Now we go back over here. And we talk to them. We said we did it. We pooped all over the town. Because that's the weird thing that you wanted me to do. You weirdo. Talk. Hmm... Hmm. Let's actually be a smart gamer and pin this quest here. Ah, places visited one of four. There you go. It's good to read. If only I had done that from the beginning. What a fool I was. I think the flatulent status is gone, though. So I may have to feed it something every time. But I guess the idea is that it literally just poops there. Just pooping all over the town. It's a weird family. One had me put honey in people's houses. One one has me pooping all over the place. There's the goddess statues. Okay, cool. I, don't, I already I still got the flatulent status. Pop. Okay, yeah, you were probably supposed to ride down, right? Because that would have been like right there, right there. There's one more, maybe up here. No, I guess not. Over here. Where are you, the last circle? I must go on the very like entrance. No, oh. that would have made sense though, right? You would think. You would think, and you'd think wrong. Hmm. Hmm. 
Aha! Dude, 50 big ones? Nice! Got some rep. Everyone knows with a guy who pooped all over the town. Love that. Love that for myself. And then, uh, just gotta find another outhouse so we can get back up. And finish this quest. And I'll show you why we did this quest and we'll actually end on that note because it's been a long video. So, we did that quest because there are treasure chests that some houses have. Hmm. I guess it just counted that as done. That's weird. Normally you have to talk to them again. The quest is removed. I don't have the number though. Hmm. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Give you something and see what happens. Nothing. Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay, here we go. As you've been good to me, here's a digit to my family seat park. Eight. Okay. Talk to the daughter. Here's another gift. You see, she hates these. I gave her those by accident. She was not happy about it. I don't, I don't want a secret. I want the number. Give me the number. Want your numbers? Will you give me a number, Peter Pepper? Hmm. I'll give you another gift. What happens then? That's fine, thanks. Okay, cool. Hmm, that's annoying. So I wonder if I just need to keep giving them gifts and eventually they'll tell me. Because I got hers. And that was from Complete Quest. But I did their quests already. And they did not give me numbers yet. Like I did this with another house that only had one person in it. And when I finished their quest, they just gave me the number right off the bat. But I've been friends with these ones for a while. And they have not given me numbers. I wonder, no, because I've given him stuff that he likes before. Because I was wondering maybe I haven't given them anything they specifically like. But I've given him stuff that he likes. Just watch this. See what happens. This is a side one. You can do side quests. They're like on the pegboards in towns. Weird. That is very strange. I don't like that. What we'll do is we will harvest the pink roses. I will sleep and try to figure that out in the next video. We'll figure out why that's not working. We'll try again tomorrow. So let's sleep until evening. And we'll gotta make it rain. My two sons staying up late, chatting up a storm. All right, so we gotta come over here. This is the only place the pink roses grow naturally. Rubber leg is hot. And then, gotta go. Come on. Oh, Ooh, that was close. Almost went down river. All right, so no seeds, but two red roses. So unfortunately, we'll definitely have to wait for next spring. I don't even know if we'll be done next spring. Because that's two. I think you can only get four. See, this task is bonk. I need to see if there's a way I can get pink rose seeds. Because I got one from harvesting it. I wonder if maybe there's a way I can get some seeds somewhere else. That's straight up jank. There's no way I have enough. 
Like it's gonna be at least not even probably two more years before I can do that. But like sleep through a whole year. Get that last freaking skill. And the unfortunate thing is that. Oh, see, so, you no, know, actually, this one's not even for that. Okay, so that's that's potential. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. This gives plants double yield. So if we unlock this in summer, which we should because this is an herb and we can double up herb collections, that would mean every pink rose I collect is two instead of one. I'd have to test the scythe to see if it gives me two or if it's just picking it up. So if it gives me two on a scythe, that's huge because that means I could get three on a scythe. And I can get six a week, potentially. Well, no, because I would get, actually, default, I'd get four each yield. And then I think I can yield twice a week. So I'd get eight next year, minimum. I might... I'm, I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that the scythe lets us get more than two because if we can get three we might be able to finish it next year huge i would like to get that one. but for now we will end the video here i'm gonna go to the house take a big old snooze and we will get up tomorrow where we're gonna try and figure out what's going on with that family now we can motivate them to give them our secret numbers because they supposedly have something cool in their chest but we'll find out great chest ahead <laughs> all right thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one